Hello. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. My name's Theron. Oh, hello. I'm out here on my mob farm. And uh, as you can see, I've got myself a little visitor. So I upped uh, my game difficulty to hard because it seemed to be what a lot of other people were playing at. And frankly, zombies and skeletons weren't providing that much of a challenge for me anymore. Not that I'm super equipped. I, I have bad gold armor, which I need to upgrade for diamond. I think I have enough diamond now that I can afford to do that. And uh, up in the difficulty was going to improve my mob farm yield. So, but the thing is, every now and then I get one of these guys that uh, probably spawns on the lowest layer, wearing armor. And uh, doesn't uh, doesn't get killed by the fall, and I can't quite get to him from here. I don't think I can't with the sword. So that's okay. I got a bow. I can shoot him in the feet. Yeah. Oops. It gets me a little experience. Not much. Obviously, if I need XP, I'm gonna go over to the skeleton spawner. So every now and then they drop uh, they drop stuff. Got a potato. And some armor, which I probably don't need. I should probably just throw into a miscellaneous bin or incinerate or something, but you know. Um, gold farm, going reasonably well. Ooh, I can make another gold ingot. So I like coming out here and just uh, picking up stuff. And uh, pop that in there. So I've got 14 blocks of gold. I know it's not, it's not a ton. But I don't sit here in uh, AFK at the gold farm much either, so. But let's go up atop and check it out. Since it's the middle of the night, I should have probably waited to start recording this episode. And I don't have a bed out here, which is because it's kind of contrary to the point. If it's the middle of the night, I should just stick it out and get more mobs. And that's why I built these waiting rooms. Let's go up, although I still need to figure out how to decorate them because they're really plain and boring. You may have noticed I turned off clouds because they they were having a I was they were having a bit of a factor on my frame rate. Oh, hello, I hear you. Where are you? I hear you. So how's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, I've been trying to improve my frame rate a little bit. Uh, so I turned off clouds. I turned down the smooth lighting a little bit. I've been playing around with the different uh, video settings. I don't, I'm playing this on a laptop. I don't. It's a MacBook Air. It doesn't have the greatest video card in the world. So you know it has a little trouble keeping up. Hey, there you go. Just jump right in. Plenty of room. Let's see if I can catch you going. No, missed you. Um, so yeah, it gets nighttime. I'll come up, stand up here, and watch the zombie pigmen ride the water ride and uh, pick up some additional gold. When I'm standing up there that close, it seems to deactivate at least the top level of the mob spawner. So if I want the mob drops to increase, I come here and hang out here. A little bit of a view. I'm put some artwork on the walls. But it's a little boring. Do you have some storage in here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab this. Because I'm not going to be building onto this bridge too much. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, eventually I want to extend this bridge and extend the rail and <laughs> uh, there's got to be something over that way oh and since upgrading to hard difficulty sometimes the mobs I think get some get some uh, lateral momentum as they're going down and they end up falling out into here and I'll find I'll find a zombie pigman hovering in the corner here or something. 
Um, so they, they hit the top of the glass, I think, which uh, breaks their fall. Which I would think would still kill the zombie pigmen, but sometimes doesn't. Oh, hello. Oh, that, that, that smarted, didn't it? Okay, come here. Let me help you. Let me put you out of your misery. Yeah, just like that. Oh, oh, sorry. Still getting used to this keyboard. And I have so many bones and zombie flesh and arrows and... So this might actually be a good place to put a item sorter. I'm still getting stuff. I've got a couple of these potions. Fire resistance, which could be helpful in the nether, which is where I want the stone for. And I was stashing it out here because this bridge kind of goes nowhere. I do have a little bit of land right over there. But I've gotten into a boat and sailed that way. Uh, a long ways. Several hundred, uh, several hundred blocks. And no sign of land. So... I don't know. This is this is a fairly expensive bridge to be building. Each each basically each step takes up uh, five stone bricks, which you know I, it's an infinite renewable resource. But if I have to go a thousand, that's thousands and thousands of stone uh, blocks that I need, which is quite a lot, and it's time consuming. So, and I think I have better things to do with my time here. So, for now, this remains a bridge to nowhere, and uh, eventually we'll we'll figure it out. All right. So, sun will be coming up in a moment. So let's head back to the mainland. Let's see how much stone I have. I think I maybe have enough that I should be carting it out to the nether. And I have some plans for the nether. I really need to find another fortress. I really need some blaze rods because I haven't done any potion brewing at all. And I want to get on with that. I want to be able to uh, fight the, the wither. I want to be able to go in and take out the the dragon in the end. I'm I'm kind of anxious to do all this stuff, but until I get some blaze rods, blaze powder, and uh, from the Nether, I, none of that's ever going to happen. So, all right. Let me make sure. I don't have anything in the output here. Nope. Don't see any beasties? Oh, let's load the uh, cactus. There we go. All right. And it'd be nice to put a beacon up here and home base to get a little speed boost or something. Um, I don't know if I showed you this. I've got myself a snow golem. I had one outside in one of the pens, but he disappeared. Don't know if he melted or what the deal was, but um, but a little snow golem. And uh, from him, I've got hoppers all around, and from him, just uh, you can break. He just constantly recreates the uh the, the bit of ice uh, snow below him and now i'm loading up the the hoppers here with snow it's a ring of hoppers that goes around this way so now they're all in here and of course from that you can make snow blocks Which could be a good building material. Okay. And also, I believe the snowballs could be useful in the nether. So. 
So let's take a look here. Oh, I got so much stone. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, let's. Uh, the other thing that I want is I want a freaking nether chest. Oh, I don't need these bows. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's more smooth stone that I could bring with me. Let's go. Let's go take a trip. me let us go hi how are you doing you're a cute one yes you are what do we got here I got a bunch of gravel I should bring some of the stuff home with me I don't need I need to keep these torches okay let's uh let's go take a look so one thing I'm thinking of doing is uh, building a building. Oh yeah, here we go. Smooth stone up the wazoo. I'm thinking of building a building to connect my little room over there and my tower. Shouldn't have built the tower this far out. And this tower I could right now I end up here and I've got my little oh interesting I could take this up and keep going up into the nether rack here and I've got more see this is another one where it's expensive oh, frame rate just kills me here um, it's expensive to keep extending this bridge but I'm hoping that maybe there's another fortress over there. I really need one. Yeah, so. Oh, frame rate here sucks. Oh, hello, ghast. I hear you. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you? So it'd be interesting to, oh, there's some quartz. It'd be interesting to dig up into here and maybe use that as my sort of uh, built in a portal network up inside there because I'm of the impression that this is probably solid all the way up to the bedrock. Wow. And it sounds like there's a couple of them around. Okay, so. Why is there a hole here? That's not good. That could be downright dangerous. Oops. Let's build this out a little bit. Show you how that goes. And maybe those, see those gas. Now, so once I get into my brewing, of course, I will need, uh, I'll need nether rack. And just lots of stuff. Uh, and sorry, not nether rack, nether ward. Let's go back up to the top. Sorry, this is probably going to be a very boring little episode for everyone. Uh, I want that glowstone. All right, so let's convert some of these into stone, stone bricks. And I have a feeling my jack-o'-lanterns are going to be the limiting factor here. Okay. So I'm placing three in between. Oh, let's fix this hole first. This is embarrassing. All right. Oops. 
Oops. Hello. Oh, speaking of a bridge to nowhere, this is, uh, I'm in the nether here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm searching for another fortress. It'd be very nice to find one. Oh, I hear a ghost. They've been flying around, one shot at me, but I think I'm up kind of high for them. They, they, they seem to stay down below over the lava a bit. Oh, my frame rate just sucks here. Um, speaking of over lava, ah, that's a little scary, but, um, yeah, so I'm building this bridge out here. Mostly I've been trying to collect some of the glowstone that's growing up, growing up here, uh, but, oh, there you are. Spawn must have. I don't think I hit her anyway. So I'm building a little bridge here, and I, I don't know, maybe I'm building in a completely pointless direction. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I really, really want to find another fortress. I probably just need to. Uh, this is. And this is probably the slowest possible way to explore the nether. So I should probably just uh, wander off someplace distant in the overworld, like really distant, and uh, build another portal and see where I end up. But because I think this this nether location is just bad. It was bad from day one. And, uh, yeah, I can get some of this, though. And I don't want fortune. I want to use my silk touch pick for this stuff. I can always convert it into glow and dust after the fact if I want. Hello. Ugh. Rather close to this lava for my taste. But I've got some glowstone here. I've got some nether quartz. And some more nether rack. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is what's been going on in the nether. I'm just building my bridge to nowhere. Um, and, uh, not too exciting. So this is this is a similar construction to my bridge to nowhere, of course, um, out to the mob farm and beyond. And oops. if it were a little safer here, I'd probably build this a little differently. But I'm liking the pretty close to this the rack here. So I've got some cover. Let's do something. Let's try something here. There we go.
Yay. Okay. the stuff <laughs> hopefully all this just falls on the walkway like that and uh, what the hell Yeah, that stuff's just gonna fall in the lava, so I don't know why. Pick it up. There we go. I hear the gas again. All right, so I've got. I don't know. I've got fifty glowstone. Now, can gas see through glass? Like, would it be worthwhile building glass walls around this? Oh, okay. They're very cute sounding. So you can see my bridge I'm building out that way. It might not be the right way. Maybe I need to build out over this way. Don't know. Hello. You'd like to do that again? Yeah. All right. So I'm up here in the very leggy nether. Um, building a little bridge here to nowhere. I'm collecting some glowstone. Looks like I missed a piece. Is that one? Is that worth getting? Um, that might work. Let's try it. Get some dirt here. Let's try it from here. Oh no. Okay.
All right, so I've got my little bridge here, my little tower, and uh, I built a I built a little structure to get here. Hi there. As you can see, so here's here's the bottom entrance. I got my little building materials chest there, and then here I've built a little hallway to my nether room, um, which means I can probably remove this doorway now. now. I don't have a way out to the nether as a. I don't have a way outside at this point. I should probably put one in. Um, oops. Oh, don't want to do that. Uh oh, how many bricks here? Oh, that's that's bad. That's bad. Okay, let's um, let's put in a piece of cobblestone for now. Should probably do, and then let's uh, let's cook up some cobblestone. And this whole area is Pigman Central anyway. Partly, I think, because of the portal. Um, and I can dig down that way. So I've got some exploration, interior exploration mostly, of the nether here. Uh, I have to figure out what's the best way to go find a fortress. I'm kind of building my own fortress, but that doesn't count because I need blazes. So I can keep going in this way. Digging along here, and oh yeah, there was a little. I found a little nether cavern here, which was kind of cool. Um, except for this sheer drop off to nowhere. Um, but uh, so I'm still trying to figure this out. Oops, that could be bad. Ugh. All right, so. My dirt back here. Oh. And if I dig far enough that way, it might actually be worthwhile. Oh, where to put where the stone go? Oh, there it is. And from that, I can make exactly one brick or four bricks. And put one of them down here. Okay. So there we go. This isn't... Oh, I can get rid of the... I can get rid of the button, too. And I can move it elsewhere. Get rid of that. Um, or... Make it symmetrical, I guess. There we go. It's the way home. So out here, I. So I do. I have all that stuff. So I have the button. I think I lost the pressure plate. I have some more stuff in here, right? And I have the door. And there's a crafting table over here. Alright, so I can do this. Get my Ono slab. Pressure plate, there we go. Should I put it right here? This will be fine. Should replace this nether rack with more bricks, but I don't have any super handy at the moment. And so I can put the button right here. Right, and put the door right here. And 
and put a pressure plate right here. So at least this way I can get out to the outside and go exploring around here if I want. Alright, so I think I'm going to call that an episode. Make a little progress here in the nether. It's not super pretty, but it's it's meant to keep me protected from gas. And let's see, what can I do here? Put this down there. Put this away. Put these away. Yeah, let's go back. Bid the zombie pigmen adieu. anything in here I need to bring back with me these are kind of pointless I don't know why I left them here so I'll bring them back with me throw them in the chest back home got coal slabs yeah plenty of that okay good let's go home And of course it's nighttime. Why is it always the middle of the freaking night when I come back? Or is that just the game where the game works? Okay. So that's it. Let's go home. I should build a elevated rail. I should build up here and then build a rail system so I could go back home at night. I shouldn't have to sleep every time I come back. Oh look, gray sheep. It's not one of mine. Oh, no, not one of mine. This green sheep used to be, though. Come here. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cactus. Saddle big. Okay, so I've got stuff here. Where am I going to keep the nether rack? I've got obsidian. Let's put the nether rack in here for the time being until I figure out what to do with it. Uh, glowstone, I'm keeping over here. All right. Got almost a couple stacks of glowstone. I've got got more nether quartz. And yeah. Oh, I should. Uh, Should have left the jack-o'-lanterns over there. Let's see. Do I have pumpkins here? Maybe I should just do a supply run. Uh, I've got more jack-o'-lanterns. And some pumpkins. Let's do that real quick. Since I now have a pretty safe way in and out of the nether. I need the jack-o'-lanterns for the I need the jack-o'-lanterns for the um, for the bridge Jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern. Okay, that's it. I'll go back now and uh, I will, uh, not quite sure what we'll be doing next time, but, uh, oh, nice and laggy. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.